dear students in this session i am going to discuss most important question which can be expected for the university examination in the subject basic electronics so i request everybody to watch the video completely surely you can crack this subject first module as you can observe you need to cover the basics of pn junction diode the ib characteristics you have to study so what is the cutting voltage what is the breakdown voltage you have to plot the characteristics that uh, you are remembering like a four quadrant that diagram is there no so ib characteristics you have to plot fine ib so that ib characteristics you are supposed to plot with a suitable explanation knee point everything you have to mark fine another one is called a full wave rectification so what is a rectifier whenever uh, you got a question like uh, what is a full wave rectifier or explain a center tapped rectifier or explain bridge rectifier full wave rectifier is divided into two types one is uh, center tapped other one is called a bridge rectifier study the circuit diagram explain uh, what will happen during positive half cycle and what is going to happen during negative half cycle ultimately you have to draw the waveform also so we have ac input fine uh, then uh, you are getting the dc dc output during positive and negative half cycle another one is called uh, center voltage regulator so how center diode is acted as a voltage regulator how will center diode act as a voltage regulator so you have to explain with the help of symbol circuit diagram everything then write a general block diagram of a power supply circuit okay so these are the most unavoidable uh, portions okay so any cost you have to prepare these topics so try to draw the diagram neatly then waveforms fine then important equation sometimes you may get a question like right uh, the diode based on one diode equation there is one problem if if you get a more if you get more time you please focus on that particular problem like one equation is available diode equation okay it's not mandatory but uh, sometimes they may ask the problem numerical example in the module 2 you can observe uh, it is basically uh, the switches signal level uh, switches so there are there are two type of switches you are going to familiar one is uh, bjt other one is called fpt so in bjt the most probable questions are explain common emitter characteristics explain uh, common base characteristics explain common collector characteristics otherwise you may get another questions like a compare common emitter common base and common collector characteristics common emitter uh, then uh, common base and a common collector comparative study you have to prepare the comparative table you have to compare the gain uh, you need to compare like uh, regulation all those things you have to compare different parameters you have to prepare in the table like form in the table format hope you can manage it sometimes uh, there are so many equations alpha is equal to ic by ie okay so uh, so uh, similarly based on some equations uh, ie is equal to ib plus ic some uh, certain equations are available uh, based on that you may get the problems also sometimes other one is called jpt part okay uh, junction uh, field effect transistor uh, here you can ex uh, you can get question like uh, uh, explain jpt characteristics so similarly the there is an improve, improved version that is called a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor explain uh, the drain characteristics of uh, mosfet so some some uh, questions will be available so you, uh, first of all you have to plot the circuit diagram draw the circuit diagram with there after you have to explain how what is a, like a drain characteristics how to plot the output characteristics okay those parameters you have to take care before going to the examination so you can see the syllabus also for your reference i have put the syllabus moving on to module 3 uh, module 3 is mainly dealing with the operational amplifier okay linear integrated circuits uh, you will be learning about the linear integrated circuit here one question you can expect explain the ideal characteristics of operational amplifier what about the input resistance what about output resistance what is common mode rejection ratio all the parameter what is band width everything you have to mention uh, the, for example cmmr common mode rejection ratio will be infinity so what about the input resistance input resistance is high output resistance is low like that you have to prepare the checklist it is very very important please don't leave other one is actually any one of the application you may get it. how does operational amplifier act as an inverter how it is acting as a non inverting amplifier so derive the expression for gain voltage gain of inverting amplifier derive an expression for voltage gain of non inverting amplifier similarly differentiator and integrator that is 100% unavoidable questions draw the circuit diagram and write down the expression for output voltage integrator and differentiator this is most important uh, portions please don't leave that 
similarly you may get some numerical example as well however uh, you can focus on these particular questions kindly don't leave these portions which i suggested moving on to fourth module uh, it is mainly dealing with the number system okay uh, in that uh, you may get questions like uh, convert for example 12 okay 12 12 to uh, octal okay decimal to octal binary uh, like uh, for example, 1011, say binary number, binary to hexadecimal. Like that, you have to, uh, convert, you need to know the thumb rule. Okay. So, what is, you should know what is decimal number, what is binary number, what is octal. You need to see the base also, base 16. Some numbers having base 16, that is hexadecimal. Okay. Then, uh, De Morgan's theorem. Uh, De Morgan's theorem, sometimes theoretically they will ask. Otherwise, they may ask in the form of numerical example. Like, uh, uh, theoretically means if they ask, a b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar conversely a dot b or a b a b whole bar sorry a plus b whole bar that is equal to a bar dot b bar so de morgan's theorem is quite important sometimes they'll be providing a long expression you have to uh, minimize uh, that particular expression also you, you need to remember a plus one is equal to how much so, 1 plus 1 is how much? So, these uh, thumb rule you have to learn. Based on that, you can solve very easily. Okay, you'll be getting the full marks. There is no doubt in that. Other one is actually, uh, you'll be getting a complex logic gates. So, by using the logic operation, you need to know what is XOR gate, what is uh, XNOR gate, what is AND, NOT, OR, then NOR and AND. Okay, otherwise, they may, you may get the questions like, uh, what, do, what do you mean by universal gate? Very, very important. Please don't leave. What, what do you mean by uh, universal gate? Okay. Explain universal gate. You may get uh, for four marks. Okay. Why you are saying uh, the NAND and NOR is considered as universal gate? Another important question is full adder. Half adder, uh, mostly they, they may not ask. I don't know. But uh, we can anticipate the questions from like a full adder. You have to prepare the truth table. Uh, sum, carry, all the things you have to mention. Fine. Uh, it is also important. So, explain about the full adder. Sometimes, if you know the adder, uh, since uh, people are belong to electronic, they may get you may get the questions like a subtract also. But uh, for most probably, you'll be getting the questions like uh, explain full adder. You have to explain with the help of like a truth table. Thereafter, you have to prepare the logic diagram. Fine, based on the sum and carry. So, you can use like a KMAP. I don't know whether you people heard about KMAP or not. Anyway, you'll be learning. Uh, otherwise, uh, manually you have to do it. It is somewhat difficult. Better go for K uh, KMAP, KMAP simplification. Uh, then module number five. Uh, in that, uh, questions are very simple. All questions will be theoretical questions only. The first portion is transducer. You may get the question in any one of the transducer. For example, uh, explain piezoelectric transducer. Why I put a piezoelectric transducer is uh, because I have seen uh, so many questions based on write a brief note on piezoelectric transducer. Other question is like, uh, what do you mean by thermal transistor? In that, uh, you have to mention about RTD, then thermistors, etc. So, that is also most valuable question. Apart from that, you may get like, uh, what is LVDT, linear variable differential transducer, LVDT. Please focus on that. It is basically an inductive based transducer. Explain LVDT. This is also very important. LVDT, linear variable differential transducer. Please don't leave. Similarly, you may get the question like, uh, explain the capacitive transducer. If you know the formula, uh, C is equal to epsilon A by D, then you can explain the capacitive transducer. You can measure the displacement, you can measure the force, etc. by using the principle of capacitance. Other one is uh, from the question from the communication system. Define modulation. What do you mean by modulation index? What is the purpose of modulation, need for modulation? Uh, you may get the question like that. Another one is actually called, uh, what is the difference between amplitude, mod mo amplitude modulation and frequency modulation? Amplitude modulation, uh, frequency modulation, all the parameters you have to learn with the block diagrams. Uh, with the block diagrams as well as uh, that waveforms. Okay, if you draw the waveforms neatly, then there is no doubt that you will be getting full marks. Other one is actually explain the general block diagram of a communication system. You have to mention about uh, antenna, transmitter, uh, the channel, receiver, all the parameters you have to explain. Hope it is clear to everybody. So, these are the most important questions. Uh, those who wanted to get like a uh, hundred full mark means you have to cover everything. But uh, at least uh, if you cover this portion surely, I'm sure that you'll be getting above 60 percentage mark. There is no doubt in that. 
So I wish you all the very best for your examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.